How to subdivide in music. This is a tutorial on how to subdivide your music that you're going to learn to play. What is subdividing? Subdividing is taking a measure and separate, separating it into its parts or its beats. But how do we do this? There are several methods available, but we're going to use one that is most commonly used. So we're given a measure. We're going to divide this measure into its beats. Okay, remembering that the quarter note is equal to one beat. So each quarter note in the measure will receive a different number because our time signature tells us that there are four beats in that measure. So one, two, three, four. The numbers go under the quarter notes, each representing a different beat in that measure. You will clap it one, two, three, four. Let's look at another one. This first measure has a whole note. Whole note has how many beats? Four. The second measure has two half notes. How many beats do those receive? Two. Very good. The comma tells us to hold the sound without stopping. Before, on the previous slide, we had individual beats, no commas in between, so the sound stopped after each beat. Here, the sound is going to continue through more than one beat. So the first one is a whole note. Four beats, comma, in between each of the beats. That tells us we're going to hold it for longer than one beat. So if I were to hum the whole note, it will sound like this. Uh, I held it through the four beats without stopping the sound. The half note, when we have two half notes, the first one is two beats, one, comma, two. The sound stops after two beats, so there's no comma. And then the next half note picks up on the third beat. And it lasts for two beats also. Three, comma, four. Ba, ba. Let's look at another measure. Now this measure has quarter notes and eighth notes. So how are we going to do that? Hmm. First of all, let's think of each beat as a whole pie. Yum. And we're going to take our beats that we did before on the previous slide. And let's see how it looks with little pies under them. Remember, our quarter note is one beat, so it is a whole pie. So it takes up one full beat. Eighth notes. Each eighth note is a half of a beat. So the first eighth note takes up the first half of the pie. The second eighth note takes up the second half of the pie. They all equal one beat together. We usually count those as one and. The and is the second half of the beat. Your sixteenth notes, all four of them take up one whole pie. Because the sixteenth note is one fourth of a beat. So all four of them together equals to the one beat that you see here. And we usually count these as one, E, and, and, uh. So since there are four beats in each measure, because our time signature is four-fourths, 
and it tells us that it's four beats in each measure, then each measure will have the equivalent of four pies. Each pie is going to represent one full beat in that measure. So we have four beats, we have four pies, each pie is equal to one beat. And since the time signature says we have four beats, each pie is going to be a different numbered beat. So let's look at another measure with beats in it. This time we have the quarter rest. Look at how it's divided. The quarter note takes up a whole pie or one whole beat. The two eighth notes both are one beat together, but individually they are half a beat each, so they take half a pie each. Two and. Third beat has a quarter note, it takes up a full beat. And then the quarter rest, even though it's silent, it takes up the last beat. One, two, and three, four. Don't clap on four. So let's look at another one. This still has four beats, but the notes are organized differently. The eighth rest, the one that kind of looks like a seven, it's a half a beat of silence. We put the ands after the one and four so that we remember to hold our quarter note out for a full beat. A full beat has two half beats in it. So if we say one and, put the comma in between those, we know we're going to hold it through the end of the beat, which is the second half of the beat. Let's try a measure that has a different time signature. We're using a three-four time signature. Remember your sixteenth notes is one-fourth of a beat each. So if you have four of them, it's one-fourth times four, which equals one. When you have four of them side by side, they're usually joined with a double flag as circled down there below. So you count it as one, two, e, and a three. One, two, e, and a three. I'm going to put my ands here so that I remember to hold it through the second half of the beat. One and two E and a three and. That way I won't chop off my notes. Okay, let's look at two measures that's in two four time. Notice how the sixteenth notes are drawn a little differently and we are introducing the sixteenth rest. The first measure has a quarter note, one beat, the eighth note and eight rest make up the second beat. And notice how they relate to their pi. Okay, so the first one is clapped one and two and. Okay. And then the next one, one e and two, one e and a two, one e and a two. One e and a two. So there you have it. Hopefully this will help. If you have more questions, feel free to ask your teacher or to re-review the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.